Okay, it is Monday morning, it's nine o'clock. I've been up since seven, and I've just been in the living room with my Bible and my cup of coffee for the last like hour and a half. I'm doing the same thing as I did yesterday, coffee with heavy, with half and half, and a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon of coconut oil all mixed in there. I'll be drinking this till it's all gone. I am also packing up my hubby's lunch. It's gonna be last night's leftovers. I'm kind of hesitant to give him all those veggies because that was so good, oh my word. And some chicken and all this good bone broth that developed here at the bottom. Definitely gonna top it with some of that. So I'm gonna give him the rest of these veggies and some chicken breast and some of that bone broth on top and I'll pack them up a little trail mix on the side. I am probably next week, last week I did my homeschool series, this week I'm doing my high fat, low carb, everyday food series. Next week I'm probably gonna do a little series on meal prepping for hubby. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. My name's Alana and we welcome you. My channel is all about marriage, homemaking, healthy living, homeschooling. Thank you for watching and let's carry on. I just thought of this, we're also in the middle of a great Aldi experiment for the month of, through August 25th through September 25th of shopping only Aldi and the farmer's market. So definitely check that out if you're interested. So that's two series, one I just completed of my daily homeschool routine. Two, we're still in the middle of with the Aldi. Three is this one, and next week coming up is meal prep for hubby. So keep an eye out for those. Okay, it's almost lunchtime, it's 12.20. I'm gonna start cooking now. I'm kind of crazy, I'm still working on my cup of coffee. I just sip on it throughout all of our school time. For those of you that don't know, I homeschool. So while we're doing school, I'm sipping on my coffee. I'm gonna finish it now as I prep lunch and then I will start my water intake for the next 10 to 11 hours. And I'll have some tea along the way as well, which counts as water. So I am keeping it simple today. I actually found that I have these leftover Brussels sprouts in the fridge, so I'm gonna heat that up for myself. I'm also gonna make some cauliflower for all three of us. And I get my ground Italian sausage from the local farm. And so I'm gonna make some meatballs out of that. That's my kids' favorite uh, meat that we buy. Oh my goodness, this lunch looks insanely delicious. Look at all that yummy stuff at the bottom. I love to scrape it up and let it coat all the veggies. Ugh. So this is the Italian sausage. I put onions, red peppers, a half of a head of cauliflower, and the leftover Brussels sprouts. I'm going to serve this on my plate and drizzle some avocado oil on it. Oh, and I also put garlic in here, two cloves of garlic. So this is going to be flavor-packed, fat-packed, delicious protein-packed, and veggie-packed. This is the kind of lunch I like to make, especially on school days, because it's easy, just one pan. We can all eat from it, and it's got everything we need. If my avocados were ripe, I would totally be putting an avocado half on my plate, but even though they're so black, they are not ready. They're not soft at all. So I'm just gonna wait a couple more days and gonna serve this lunch up. Okay, I am almost done with my coffee. Like, literally the last sip, and then the water consummation shall begin. It's 12.50. Done. I am super sad. The rest of my video somehow did not... I don't know what happened, but it's all gone. So, after lunch... I worked out and I shared so much info about my workout. I will just make up for it on Thursday, my next leg day. Tomorrow I'll make sure to share info about my upper body workout, which I feel like I already did, but I'll just repeat that for you guys. And then I had half a cup of Greek whole fat yogurt topped with chia seeds. I had some kombucha with sliced ginger inside or in it, whatever. 
And then for dinner, I made a big stir fry. I got the leftover chicken. I deboned all of it. I got out my big wok, big wok pan. I coated it with sesame oil. I threw in onions, garlic, fresh ginger slices, um, broccoli, cabbage, spinach, the leftover chicken, and I seasoned it with amino acids, butter, and garlic powder, salt, pepper, and turmeric. And I just let it get all delicious and stir fry -y. I also added cashews, and then I topped each serving with sesame seeds and sriracha. So that was our dinner, and I've been drinking water like crazy. I'm on my third refill of the day, and two of them is over half my body weight, so that's all I need, but I just like to get more in because I drink so much coffee in the morning. And then I shared a lot about, um, it's funny because I was worried I'd have to cut this a lot of this video out because I was very chatty in it, but it cut itself out, so it's not gonna be as chatty as I thought after all. But I did just chat a little bit about how I really love to get as much nutrients in each meal as possible so i love lots of veggies good healthy fats good protein but i also like to get seeds and nuts and fermented foods every day plus a lot of water so tomorrow and the next day and the next day i will make up for the loss segment of this video i'm so bummed god bless you guys and thanks for following along have a wonderful night and i will share my tuesday uh what i eat in a day tomorrow good night